So I'm sitting here with a concerned citizen from Hermanus talking about the things that we have found out over the last few days. Um, because of he's got a family, he doesn't want to be identified. He's uh, fearing for the safety of his family and and of himself, of course. So we'll do this interview anonymous. Um, sir, just tell me qu quickly one thing. The leader of this movement that we are seeing here in Hermanus, Gobani Nzo Zongana, who was one of the founding fathers of the EFF, who actually left the party because he was too radical, he said things like, the racists who keep telling our people to go back to the Eastern Cape, they must be aware that the day our people drive them into the sea, it will be too late for them to say that we're, do we're joking. Uh, do the people of Amanus see this as a very serious situation or do they even realize how serious this, this might get? Um, I think since we've had the riots in Amanus starting in March this year, I think it was a big wake-up call to everybody in town. Um, I think out of a service delivery point of view from the authorities and then also just um, out of a community point of view, you know, mm -hmm. just looking at at the conditions of the people in the informal s settlement, but then also um, just the aggressiveness and the... Uh, and the lack of, 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 of wanting to work together to find solutions and making unrealistic de demands on the rest of the of the greater community. Um, you know, we you know what we've realized is that you know is this that this is a massive problem. You know, they've 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 threatened people's lives who don't agree with their agenda, they've burnt down properties, they've you know, there's hundreds of people who have lost their jobs, um, businesses have closed down and at this stage our, our town and our country can't afford this kind of thing. You know, for this country to work we're going to have to sit around a table and try and figure things out, find the best solutions based on facts and then moving forward. But I mean if this is the, if this is the, the radical point of view that uh, leaders are going to take in this country, it's going to destroy this country. Mm. It's going to destroy this country completely. And we can see this happening in a micro way in a minus, and we hope that this doesn't happen in the rest of the country because then mm. it's really going to be the end of this country. Do the people specifically realize how radical the individuals in this town is? I mean, it's a guy who left the EFF, the economic freedom fighters, because he said Julius Malema was not radical enough, who's in charge here, and who also said that we are going to do to these people what we did with De Blanche. And we know, all know what happened to Eugene De Blanche, how he was tortured for hours till his death. Do the people in Armanus in general uh, have any idea or, or realize how radical this person is or seen what he said on, on Facebook and Twitter, for example? Yeah, look, if you look at his posts on on, on Facebook and, and the media, they've been sending out... Um, um, the media that doesn't really make much sense. Mm. So so what they do is, is if anybody opposes them, they am launch vehement personal attacks on them. Mm. Um, you know... If, if anybody opposes them, they, you know, they will th threaten their lives. You know, they'll put stuff on social media and then when it comes across like too radical, they'll say, oh, it was only a joke. Mm. You know, they've had, you know, they would walk around the town and say, we're going to take the sea, we're going to take the land, we're going to take all these nice shops, we're going to take everyone's property. So what we're dealing here is with... Uh, is with an emotional group of people mm. that you know that are not making decisions on facts they are not uh, showing sound leadership in the sense of trying to find what's the best solution for um, the the entire community they They've got an agenda. Well, they, they made it pretty clear that they want don't want a solution for the community. They made it pretty clear that the only thing that they want is to drive the people of Hermanus into the sea. Yeah, so, um, you know, wh what the leader's done, he said there's going to be no p political party involved. Um, an unled uh, revolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah an un unled revolution, what was quote-unquote what Julius Malema said. Mm. And then they started a political party, you know. So, you know, so is his, is his agenda like 
like many African leaders that have just got a desire for power and control and then wealth, you know, because because that's what it seems it is, you know. The, the guys come into power saying they've got the best interests of, of the poor and the downtrodden, but when they get into that position, they, they're not interested in the poor and the downtrodden. They're just interested in power and wealth. And it seems like... Uh, Ungubani, that's what his agenda is, and and anybody that stands in his way is going to be, he's going to be intimidated or uh, mm. removed. And it's interesting the two guys which started the whole Zuelishle renewal movement with him, call it my his two two ICs, mm. they even left him because because of the way that he's handling this whole situation, and and they've obviously seen that he's got a different agenda. He hasn't got the best interests of, of, of even the community of Zwilishle on a heart. He's got his own agenda, he's got his own plan, and he wants to get into power. So that type of leadership is toxic. Before the march, we've seen quite a few posts on social media by this, I think, Unite, Overstrand Unite group, in which they specifically said uh, workers need to identify the shops and the businesses of the people who treat their workers badly. Now that is a pure form of intimidation. Yeah. It is illegal. Um, that can be prosecuted. The people involved in the leadership involved here, do you think uh, they should be prosecuted for these crimes? Do you think uh, the re if the government doesn't want to do their jobs and prosecute their people, can the citizens of Hermanus make a legal case against them? Or what, what do you think about that? Yeah, I think that's very important. Um, so I've, I've gone myself, I've been intimidated with the people that uh, that work with me and went to the police station, opened a case, I never heard anything about it. And I think many other people in town have also gone to the police station, opened up a case of intimidation mm. and, and nothing has happened about it. You know, so our hands are sort of tied. Yeah, so this is just one of those situations where the police have to start doing their jobs and where the prosecutors have to start doing their jobs and they, these people need to be, um, you know, held accountable for yes. their crimes. Uh, just for, uh, for a final question, so we know one of the leaders, this Nzonga, Nzongana guy, um, he's a, a radical, I would say, black nationalist and also a communist. Uh, who says he wants to drive us all into the sea and who says he wants to, to, to you know, make with our people like he did with Je Blanche, uh, basically torturing us all to death. So this is a pretty radical, uh, I would al al almost go so far as to say psychopath, just uh, from seeing what he has said in the past. But then there's these other people, um, Vanessa and Morag Swanepoel, yeah. who it seems like they are kind of also the brains behind the operation and they are... Um, assisting these people and even leading these people what are their motives and why are they doing that uh all the, all the, what what are what are their role in this whole thing look i've never spoken to them before so i don't know them personally um i just think they you know they they are v v very misguided um they you know they the the group has made their minds which, which, which the authorities um, can't achieve, and they just and they just pressing and pressing and pressing, and 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 and, and they are disrupting the, the the entire community. So you know she might be doing it because she wants to help um, the the poor people in the informal s settlements, which I think is a is a you know, is a ad, is an admirable thing to do, but. Uh, but the way that she's been involved and in guiding the whole process, it doesn't seem that that that, that is her agenda. You know, she's um, yeah, you know, she doesn't understand where this is leading to. This is if if you look at uh, Venezuela, if you look at uh, Zimbabwe, um, if she wants this country to be destroyed, she must carry on the way she's carrying on. Yeah, well, um, what, for what we can see about her, uh, there's, there's two options. Either she hasn't seen the, the things that this guy has said in public, she hasn't seen anything he said on social media, um, and she's completely ignorant to who this guy she's working with is, or on the other hand, it could be that she completely agrees with him and she's pro the torture of white people and or the, the torture of people yeah. and uh, not even specifically white people and she's pro the agenda to to push us or the the residents of Armanas into the sea um, but we we won't know about that for sure 
Uh, lastly, do you think you, the people of Hermanus, are you prepared? Um, are you prepared to defend yourselves and to defend for your businesses and your your uh, maybe the shops that you have or whatever industries the people you're working? Are you prepared to defend these things if a very violent riot breaks out, uh, which is even worse than the ones we have seen? Yeah, look, I think um, I, th I think self-preservation is a basic international human right. Um, so, so I think anybody has got the right to defend themselves, to defend themselves, defend their family, defend their property. So, I think. Uh, uh, you know, I think people will do that. Um, I will definitely do it. But will you be able to? Is there is there a, a way to? That, are you guys prepared for it? Um, well, um, you know, I think our first port of call is to is to go to the authorities and say to them, look, um, you know, we've got, you know, we've given our human right of self preservation. We've handed that over to the authorities, and they have a mandate to to fulfil to protect us um, you know and then after that if the police don't do their job we go to private security companies and then we pay them to protect us and when the private security companies can't can't pr protect you then you obviously have to do that yourself are there any good private security companies within Armanis? yeah i think there are um, but you know these things cost money and you know and they can't you know they can't bring public order they're going to protect no, people and properties you know so you know so that's what you pay them for so you know public order is the police of is, is, is the job of the police and do you think the police are, are doing their jobs uh, and do you think that the police are achieving that can are they doing their jobs are they ensuring public order in in Armanis? I think uh, the guys on the ground I think th I think there are guys on the ground which are trying to do their work but they but they're hamstrung from the upper levels mm. of uh, police and 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 i also think that if you take um, uh, statistics about the police specifically in the western cape they say um, um you know, the police in the western cape are of are very much underfunded understaffed and under equipped specifically the western cape mm. so so the police here i think are trying to do their jobs but they are extremely hamstr hamstrung Okay, thank you very much.